What's up, WWE Universe? My name is Rain, and welcome to WWE What If. In this episode, we're going to talk about my predictions for SummerSlam 2020. You'll never see it coming. But before everything else, I'm going to ask you guys to please hit that like button for me. It's not going to cost you anything. It's free, but it's going to help me out. Thank you so much in advance. Now, I do predict a couple of title changes this coming Sunday. Let's start off with Asuka winning the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now, Asuka is facing both Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's title and then Bayley for the SmackDown Women's title. However, I think Bayley will be successful with helping Sasha Banks retain her Raw Women's title, but the boss will come up short with helping Bayley retain her SmackDown goal. So, when Asuka wins the SmackDown Women's Championship, Bailey will obviously end her longest reign as SmackDown Women's Champion. It's around 300 plus days, guys, and I think it's the longest one so far in the SmackDown Women's title history. So, Asuka winning the SmackDown Gold, Bailey losing at SummerSlam, a historic moment. Ooh, that might cause a rift between Sasha Banks and Bailey. Now, Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. Now, if Drew is actually scheduled to face somebody else at SummerSlam, well, I would say that Drew McIntyre will retain his WWE title. But it's Drew McIntyre versus the guy who won the greatest wrestling match ever, which in theory, making him the greatest wrestler ever. So why would Drew McIntyre beat that guy? Randy Orton, right? Randy has had a great momentum since winning his match against Edge. So I don't think Randy is going to be unstoppable at this point. I think him winning the WWE title will just be the cherry on top. And Drew McIntyre will just kind of find his way again to get back into the championship scene. The Universal Championship between The Fiend and Braun Strowman. Now, if you guys have seen my past videos, I've always talked about that SummerSlam is going to be the moment for The Fiend where he's going to win the Universal title back. But see, now, I don't think so. And to borrow a quote from Braun Strowman, anyone who has been in contact with The Fiend has been infected by his evil. So that tells me that Braun Strowman has been infected by The Fiend's evil as well. So I'm predicting that Braun Strowman will retain his title and we will see a character turn. Braun turning into a heel and the Fiend becoming this creepy baby face. And then maybe later on, the Fiend will actually win the Universal title. MVP versus Apollo Crews for the United States Championship. Now, as much as I want Apollo Crews to retain the United States title, I don't think so. I think MVP will actually win this Sunday at SummerSlam and for real become the United States Champion. I do think that the build up for the Hurt Business, I mean, it's been good, kind of confusing a little bit, but they need something to make their faction look stronger and having another gold for the team would make that happen. Now, Dominic Mysterio versus the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, in a street fight. Now this is the much awaited in-ring debut of Dominic Mysterio. And this is a story of redemption. So I do believe, I strongly believe, that Dominic Mysterio will win his first match as a WWE superstar and pretty much raising the flag for the Mysterio family. And another story of redemption will be Mandy Rose versus Sonya Deville in a hair versus hair match. I think Otis's girlfriend will get her redemption and shave Sonya Deville's head bald. 
Now, props to Sonya Deville because I do think she's gonna look pretty being bald. I know I'm not, but <laughs> kudos to her because I love this buildup between these two um, superstars. I love this angle between these two and just seeing Sonya Deville just become this vicious heel. I love it. And, and, and I cannot wait to see her just get super frustrated and mad because Mandy is shaving her head bald. Now, the, uh, the Raw Tag Team Championships between the Street Profits versus Andrade and Angel Garza. I do think that even though there's been conflicts between Andrade and Angel Garza, I do think that they will win this Sunday at SummerSlam. I think they've been due for the Raw Tag Team Gold. So I'm sorry, Montez Ford. I know you've been poisoned. And to Angelo Dawkins. But I don't know. I don't think you guys are going to win this Sunday. Well, what do you guys think? Post your comments down below. And please, hit like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Also, if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram at WWE What If or on Twitter at WWE underscore What If. You guys, I will see you all again next time for my SummerSlam results and reaction video. But until then, TTY, Jabroni.